I've just come back from the supermarket where I found these sweet pointed peppers, they're called. If you look at them, they look really like gigantic chilies. You have the chilies? These are the kind of chilies we have to eat nowadays because we ran out of our homegrown ones. I was growing lots of lemon drop chilies, hot lemon drop chilies. They were just so good. They tasted really lemony and beautiful. But of course, during the winter, they stopped fruiting and then I chopped the plant right down. In fact, I have one of the plants right here. I chopped it right back just a little while ago now when it stopped fruiting and it is starting to shoot out new growth. So the great thing about that means that I will have fruit chili pe chili peppers a lot earlier than I would if I started them from seed. But January is a great time to start them from seed. And so I want to take some of these seeds of these beautiful sweet peppers and grow them. And it's exactly the same process as growing regular chilies. So I've gotten some of the seeds here. And I'm just going to, I've got some soil. I've got two little pots here with some soil. I took it in from outside because I wanted it to warm up slightly. And I got some of the seeds out of one of the other ones. I had a third sweet pepper. And I just put them in the pot and covered them up with a very thin layer of soil, watered them in well, and cling film them to keep that moisture in, to lock lots of moisture in. And then as soon as the seeds start germinating and they get a few true leaves, I think I'll have two sets of true leaves, like so four leaves, then I will transplant them into their own individual pots. That's exactly how I grow chilies. And it's the same process for these beautiful little guys here. And also while I'm here, I've also collected some of my hot lemon drop chilies. I collected them last year and I have a whole lot of them actually. So I thought I would just so some of them as well and actually it'll be quite fun to see how quickly they fruit because I've been saying how keeping the plants alive it's a bit of a process and it's a bit of a faff really and um, I've been saying that it gives us that much earlier fruit and I really do think it I mean it did last year and I had a huge much larger harvest too because the plants themselves were a lot larger than they would be if they just were grown from seed but the plants do tend to get like bugs and everything and it's just tricky to find windowsill space too for them i mean i definitely think it's worth it but let's just try to grow a few from seed as well and just see how soon they they fruit i think that'd be quite a fun thing to try so that one's going to have the hot lemon drop chili seeds that i harvested from my own chilies and this one is going to have the store-bought big sweet peppers they're pretty much another kind of pepper. So they're not like bell peppers, but they're just, they're not spicy at all. They're just really gorgeous and really long, really fun to grow. I do love growing these kind of things. So yeah, we'll see how long it takes for them to germinate, but how fun to start my little seeds. I haven't got anything outside yet because it's still really cold, but it's nice to get started in the kitchen. Put these guys in the windowsill, keep them as warm as possible. I have a really nice windowsill that's quite bright and it's right above a radiator. So that's like the perfect place for germinating them. So hopefully I'll have some beautiful noodle seedlings to show you soon. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.